Robots are getting smarter, Tesla's Dojo Supercomputer explained. On the 30th of September, Tesla held its second AI Day, or Artificial Intelligence Day, if you needed that reminder. Not only did the company share new details on its autopilot and FSD improvements, like the fact that they now have no less than 160,000 customers using FSD, of course they also revealed Optimus, the Tesla robot that was a little bit disappointing but which Musk has great plans for. And then there were the insights into Tesla's Dojo supercomputer, a supercomputer built from the ground up specifically for Tesla's AI machine learning. Yes, the robots are getting smarter. Want to know more? We'll go over all the details in today's video. But before we begin, welcome to Elon Musk Times, the place to be for news about Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, and today, the Dojo Supercomputer. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit the bell icon to never miss a video. Now, let's dive in. AI Day 2022 Tesla Dojo Supercomputer Revealed Tesla took part in Hop Chips 34 and dropped a bomb that stunned everyone. At the event, the company shared a lot of information about its latest invention, its supercomputer Dojo, and its chip architecture. Emil Talpez, an employee at Tesla with 17 years of experience concerning Operon processors at AMD, took the lead in spilling the beans. Talpez wowed the crowd with fancy talk of Dojo's hardware and capabilities. According to Talpez, quote, the defining goal of our application is scalability. We have de-emphasized several mechanisms that you can find in typical CPUs like coherency, virtual memory, and global lookup directories, just because these mechanisms do not scale very well when we scale up to a very large system. Instead, we relied on a very fast and distributed SRAM storage throughout the mesh, and this is backed by an order of a magnitude higher speed of interconnect than what you find in a typical distributed system." End quote. Musk and everyone at Tesla are working on Dojo to make it really good at video training. According to Musk, Tesla has done some good work with the supercomputer as it is. Quote, probably the fourth or approaching the third most powerful computing center in the world for AI training. End quote. The Dojo supercomputer is created to be a highly competitive and effective supercomputer. It's also supposed to be more efficient at neural net training than just GPS. During AI Day at Tesla, the company further expanded on the supercomputer and what it would do. As an exaflop client, supercomputer, Dojo will be able to handle incredible amounts of raw data. Tesla requires a lot of computing power to sort out the video data recorded by the vehicles and its fleet. The company has built a proprietary system on water solution to handle that massive amount of data. The importance of Dojo, the supercomputer, cannot be overemphasized. Tesla intends to build on their existing work on artificial intelligence and neural training to fully develop Dojo as one of the biggest supercomputers in the world. The background work Tesla has done on the topic provides a foundation of comfort and confidence that they can also get this done. So what about earlier supercomputers? What makes Dojo so special? Well, a supercomputer is basically a computer on steroids. Think of the laptop you have at home as a computer with a high school diploma. Now imagine a supercomputer as a computer with a PhD, and you have an idea of what a supercomputer is. In simple definition terms, a supercomputer is a computer with a higher than common performance level. With higher processing power, a supercomputer is designed for large-scale tasks. Supercomputers are often used for jobs like flying a rocket, quantum modeling, predictive modeling, and large-scale game theory, among other heavy-duty stuff. A supercomputer performs functions that the average computer cannot handle. Tesla has the grand dream of automotive cars that can be driven automatically. To meet that lofty goal, Tesla vehicles will need a lot of information to handle the roads on a typical day. In addition, robotic cars will need a brain, so to speak, to handle the unpredictable nature of life. This is where a supercomputer comes in. Tesla is creating a computer brain to help train and modify vehicles for life in its unpredictable nature. Tesla's supercomputer is dubbed Dojo, which is supposed to help Tesla train AI deep neural networks and machine learning algorithms in a timely fashion. Tesla claims that it built its own supercomputer because existing solutions were insufficient for the processing power and volume of data needed to advance its full self-driving training needs. The Dojo supercomputer will help Tesla deal with millions of video data points to improve its self-driving capabilities. With its improved nature, Dojo will be able to work with a lot of computers and teach the new batch of Tesla vehicles how to behave better on unpredictable roads. Now, let's get into a little bit more on AI training. 
Artificial intelligence, otherwise known as AI, is a machine, robot, or computer that has been fed the data it needs to make its own decisions. The data comes from various sources like videos, images, text, or ones and zeros. An efficient AI works on a truckload of data. The more data available, the better the AI. AI trading requires a lot of processing power. This means that the more data you have to feed the AI, the more processing power you need. To handle the large influx of data, AI engineers created something called GPUs. A graphic processing unit, or GPU, is a faster model of the CPU. However, while developing AI to become better, it reaches a point where the GPUs are no longer efficient. That takes you to the deep end of AI engineering and robotics. Tesla's automotive vehicles work on AI, constantly improving with tons of video data. With the heaps of video data the company deals with daily, GPUs have become inefficient, so the supercomputer dojo was born. The dojo core comes with an integer unit that gets some of its instructions from the RISC-V architecture and additional instructions from Tesla. The D1 chip, which powers the dojo supercomputer, was designed with maximum bandwidth in mind, putting communication channels ahead of floating point multipliers and other neural processing components to ensure that information moves as quickly as possible. This high-performance chip is manufactured on TSMC's 7 nanometer process, which results in high efficiency. Nonetheless, this 362 teraflop chip with 50 billion transistors is built with a 400-watt thermal design, which means it draws a lot of power and generates a lot of heat. 25 of these D1 chips are arranged in a 5x5 grid to form a training tile with 9 petaflops of performance, 18,000 amps of power, and 15 kilowatts of heat output. Current supercomputers reach 500 petaflops, and future systems are expected to match Tesla's dojo at one exaflop. Each flop represents a single floating point operation, such as multiplying two numbers with high precision. The more commonly used prefixes in computing are mega, giga, and tera, which usually come before the ending byte and represent a million, billion, and trillion bytes of data, respectively. A petaflop is 1,000 teraflops, and an exaflop is 1 million teraflops. These computers' performance is astounding and difficult to comprehend in terms other than relative terms. When finished, Tesla's Dojo could be the world's fastest computer for artificial intelligence training. Okay, so why is Musk so enthusiastic about AI? Tesla is widely known as an automotive company. Taking a foray into computer manufacturing is a feat that should not be ignored. Tesla needs AI to make its dream of self-driving vehicles a reality. With millions of Tesla vehicles on the streets all over the world, the video data obtained are transferred to the headquarters. The information received helps Tesla improve its autonomous car algorithms. The data received from the existing customer base helps Tesla put AI at the center and improve its automotive nature. By taking a foray into AI, Musk and Tesla are spreading their tentacles beyond just automotive vehicles. With its AI nature, the Dojo is taking Musk's dream one step further to reality. Musk is well known for making the 31st of February promises from the Cybertrucks to robo-taxis. However, the improvements made to AI show that he is taking a couple steps in the right direction. At AI Day 2021, Musk said, quote, I think long term, people will think of Tesla as much as an AI robotics company as we are a car company or an energy company, end quote. So to conclude, science is mind-blowing, and AI seems like a trick from a dystopian movie. The new Dojo supercomputer is an innovative invention that might be the answer Tesla needs. It is, however, another example of how dependent we are on computers and robots to live our everyday lives. All right, so what do you guys think? Are humans in trouble yet? Could robots become so smart they could take over the world? Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below, or just leave a fist bump if you liked the video. And please make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on the next one. And thanks for watching.